So today is another day. It's the fourth. Actually, it's the same day as the day I made the video. I'm gonna make a video, then I'm gonna upload it and make sure that people know this. I've spent a total of three days refining this little bit of functionality and been doing everything bit by bit. I still have my errors. I'm not exactly sure why this is still happening, but they're not breaking my program, so I'm not gonna panic about them. There's a lot of uh, stuff going on. But anyway, because of how I expect people to play the game that I make, I decided I'm going to do every piece of functionality bit by bit and then make things work and just test how things are working. So now I have another page, but I can't utilize it. Now I have this page, hold tab open, and I click backwards and forwards. I can go to this page back and forwards and everything updates as it needs to. So I can just press as many times as I want. I can try to break this inventory system that I have so far, but unfortunately I can't break it. Now, please notice that the frame rates are fine. They're sitting around about 70, 60, 70, when I do not use my inventory system. When I do turn it on, it starts going a bit cuckoo, but it looks like it's making it more stable, which is a bit interesting. It keeps staying over 70 so long as the inventory is open, which is actually kind of strange in my eyes, since when I drop it, it's uh, below 70 sometimes. It's a bit interesting what's going on there. A little bit of a uh, interesting uh, thing that's happening. Anyway, the inventory uh, I had bugs with, I managed to fix things. Now, when I was working on this, trying to figure out these bugs that I was trying to fix, I kept breaking the frame rates and it was always at about 14 frames per second when I was working on things. That's because as you can see here, there is only so many times things are set. Now you see how this one keeps going up and up and out and it keeps counting even if I pause this? It's because this one here is what would break everything if it was repeated X amount of times. So X amount of times being like, if I copy and paste this 10 times to run that script that many times, then I'd have major problems. I had about a dozen lines and they kept breaking everything because I had a certain loop going when I was holding down a certain button. So when I was holding down this button, I was trying to get it to update all this information, which trust me, it's not easy, but I managed to find a way to do it. The biggest issue with all this stuff that I've been doing is if you have a line in the wrong spot or a little bit of a word incorrect, things will break like crazy. And I mean, it isn't very easy to do this coding stuff. So now I understand why they get the biggest paycheck when they um, make games. So the idea is with code. A small detail such as a single word can have a couple of different ways to be written. If it's written the wrong way, it won't work. There's this one called get button down and get button. Well, actually, it's called get key and get key down. And if you use one or the other, one will only repeat once while the other keeps looping and it can break things tremendously bad. I have a get key and that is only in my update but when I first press it and release it that is only triggered once now if I do look at my errors and refresh everything you'll see it will count every now and then when I do something and as you can see it's not continuously doing it it only calls things once or twice or a couple of times now, if you notice, these ones are reading 11, and every time I press the button, it just counts 1. Well, that's the ones that are only called once because of the key is get key down. If I change it to get key, this will just loop like crazy. Okay, to show you what I mean, here's my if input get key down. If I change this from get key down to get key, I will completely break my project. It will not like it, and it will just go crazy when I start picking up items that are on the ground. Nothing is to scale, my apologies. But now, I'm going to clear 
And I'm going to show you everything breaking before your eyes. As you can see, it's just looping and looping and looping. The frame rates are 40. I let go. Frame rates consistent. I'm going to open this up a little bit more so we can see everything. Now, see how the frame rates have been just dropping and dropping and dropping? The more items I get, the worse things get for me. So this is why it is very important to try and be as efficient with your coding as possible. Because such a simple mistake can cause a lot of issues. Now, to show you the fix for this, and show you that it actually does do what it's meant to do. Well, we're going to unplay the game. I'm going to go back to the script. We're going to call this get key down. I'm going to go back to my project. I'm going to hit the play button. I'm going to try to break it one more time. And that shouldn't be happening. I don't know why it's doing that. But it is broken at the moment again. And I only just noticed this. But as you can see, my frame rates are consistent around about 70 FPS. Such a simple mistake can cause a lot of issues. And if I press this multiple times, as you can see, it makes the frame rate drop because I'm making it do it so many times. And I cannot continuously hit the button fast enough to keep up with what it was trying to do. Anyway, I think that's enough for this video. I have a lot of work ahead of me. And I just hope that I manage to make a project that actually works. Not to mention one that's going to keep the frame rates up high. But I will just make this point again. Coders have such simple mistakes. If they get just this one little line wrong, this one little piece of information, if this is missing or it doesn't need to be there and this is this the program or project is breaking, they have to come along and look at the fine details and either put this down in or remove the down. They might even not notice that this is causing all the issues right here. And that is why it's such an important thing to know that this is very intricate. This is very delicate, very hard. And they deserve credit for what they do each and every day. I myself am only just learning how to do this stuff. And just doing it makes me understand everything about how hard game making really is. If you're a beginner, don't turn down a challenge. You've got to just keep persevering. I personally started this project only because I really wanted to persevere with a project. I wanted to make something that I could make and be able to treat it like a job. Because if I don't treat this like a job, when I'm ready to go and work in the workforce, I have no experience to do this stuff and I have no way of actually keeping up with others because I'm behind everyone else. If I can hone my skills, I can keep up with everyone else and get to the point where I can be at when I can help others do what they need to do. For example, I can make scripts that people don't understand or people need that no one else knows how to make. And if I go up to a coder and present my design of code and they see how it works and then look at the script, they can rewrite this script and make it more efficient that it can make performance greatly improved that you can actually play the game very very smoothly that we make so for all those people who are actually programmers I respect your position and well I'm impressed by what you guys do each and every day for now I'm gonna try and keep up and catch up to you guys this is really tough the total amount of lines in just my inventory script is about 240 including the green lines and some other stuff like there's a lot of stuff in here and some of it doesn't even need to be here that's like a really massive amount of lines anyway thanks for watching have a great day or night everyone and please be more respectful of games that have been basically homemade some games are just rip-offs while some games are legit and people put a lot of work into them and that's why we've got to appreciate the artisticness and the time people spent on building a game i myself have been working on this for a week or two and that includes my scenes that i sort of started designing and this is not one of those scenes that i designed by the way 
it is just a test level as you may read if I go to my projects go to my scenes and look at the scenes test switch from 2d and I go back over there or I just press the play button and you'll understand what I mean by it's just my test level I made this level to test this script out and to make new things to see what will work in this game and what I should add. If I'm ready to work on something else, I'll just go to my other scene and make things work. I have a lot more complicated scripts than the inventory one to make, which is why I figure it's best to start with something hard that I might actually be able to pull off with a little bit of help. I did have, however, a little bit of help from my teachers at AIE, and I am grateful for the help. And when I was told maybe I should do the tutorials, I decided to ignore them and take on this challenge of doing it without any tutorials, which means I was without reference points other than assistance when I required it. I had help from Adam and Connor, who is a student, and Adam, who is a teacher at AIE, and they've been very, very helpful and very, very supportive of what I've been trying to do. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you guys later now.